Hello, hi everyone. My name is Madhu Sadar. I'm from Udu Dubai office. I would like to announce today that Udu will be releasing an e-invoicing module that is compliant to Egypt Tax Authority e-invoicing requirements. This is following our long-term goal of establishing localizations that comply users to their domestic regulations. The solution was developed and implemented with the help of our partner in Egypt, Clementis. In this video, we're going to go through the setup process and how to configure Udu. So let's start with the setup and the getting ready. The first step in the getting ready phase is to upgrade your database to v15. This is very important since the e-invoicing feature will only be available on v15 and future upcoming versions. The second step is to register in the ETA portal. At this point, you should have a username and a password that lets you log in your ETA portal. The third step is to get a USB to authenticate invoices during the e-invoicing process. It's very important to make sure that the USB you get lets you authenticate invoices while sending them to the ETA portal through an ERP. Let's go to the next page which is uh, where you registered an ERP. So um, during this point, you're gonna log in your ETA portal, and then you will check the uh, right side, top right side, and you will find the taxpayer profile. Once you go there, you will scroll down to the representative section, and you will see a button that lets you register an ERP. Once you click on that, a small window will pop up where you have to fill some fields. So the first field is the ERP name. This is just a label that you give to your ERP. So let's just call it Udu. The second field is your client secret expiration. This is how many years you have subscribed with the USP provider. You can leave the rest of the fields empty. Now, once you register and save this ERP, uh, the ETA will give you a few codes, which is the client ID, the secret one, and the secret uh, two. Please make sure to save those codes in a safe note because we will be needing them in the future. Now, the third step is the ETA codes. At this step, we will have to code many of our business aspects. So for example, we will have to have the tax ID in terms of a number, we will have to have the uh, branch ID, the activity type code. And then for the product codes and tax codes, we have to make sure that our products are coded on the GS1 or EGS codes. And we have to input that code into Udu. The next step is to start your configurations on Udu. So these are the modules that you have to install on your database. The second step in configuration of Udu is that you have to go to your companies and you have to make sure that you fill the tax ID, the full address, and the country. Afterwards, you will go to the accounting configuration settings and you have to type your client ID and secret one. After you save your work, you can proceed to the next step. The next step is to set up our branches. So in Udu, each branch that we have as a company will be set up as a separate journal. So we will create a journal with a type of sales for each branch that we have. And then on this journal, we have to specify and link it to a contact that represents this branch. So you can see in the first screenshot that I have the Aswan Mall branch customer invoices. This is my journal name. And you can see in the advanced settings tab that I have linked this to a contact called Aswan Mall branch Egypt company. So this is a branch in my company. The second field is the ETA activity code. So I have to specify the activity code for that branch. And then I have to specify the branch ID. Uh, once you configure a contact for your, your branch, you have to make sure that it is set as a company, not as an individual. And it's very important to make sure that the address for this contact is complete. Let's proceed to the next step. Uh, now we have to make sure that our customers are filled correctly. So uh, to fill your customers correctly, you have to make sure that you entered the full address for your customer. 
and to make sure that you fill the tax ID correctly. Now, uh, for the products, you have to make sure that you set the product type correctly on the product um, on the product card, and then you have to make sure that you entered an item code. The item code can be entered uh, either on the barcode field or on the ETA item code that you can find in the accounting tab. It's also important to make sure that the unit of measure you have used for each product is correct. Now, the last step is the USP authentication. So for the USP on the authentication, we will ask you to go to the accounting application and then go to the configurations tab and scroll down until you find thumb drive. Once you go to the thumb drive, you will see this uh, second screenshot below. You have to specify for which company you're adding this thumb drive to, and you have to type your ETA USB pin. Your ETA USB pin is the number that was given to you from the USB manufacturer. Now, the second uh, field, which is the access token, this is going to be a number that Udo gives you once the installation is completed. After you type this information, you need to save your work. And then once you save, you can click on Get Certificate on your right side, and uh, the middleware will connect to your USB. Let's go ahead and check the configurations on Udo. So the first step, I'm going to go to my companies. You can see that I filled the full address of uh, the company on the company information, and I also filled the tax ID. The second step is to go to accounting, configuration, settings. Here you will find the ETA API integration. You have to put the client ID and ETA secret that was given to you from the ETA portal once you registered an ERP. Now we will go to the journal. In the journal, you will find the Aswan Mall branch customer invoices. So for each branch I have, I will be creating a separate sales journal. You can see in the advanced settings here, I added a contact that has the full information for this branch and I assigned it to this journal. In the ETA activity code, I can uh, add the activity code that I want. You can search more in this list and you can select the actual activity code that correlates to your, to your business. So let's say that I will uh, choose this one. And then we have the ETA branch ID. If you have just one branch, you can type zero and then you will save. Now the next step is to go to your customers. Now let's say that Egyptian uh, furniture is my customer. So for this one, I have to make sure that they have all of the information needed. They have the address completely filled and they have the tax ID filled. Now let's go to this next step where I have to go to the products and make sure that my products are configured. So for this product, I have to make sure that I put the product type correctly. If there was a specific unit of measure, I have to assign it to that product. And you can also make sure that your barcode is filled or your ETA item code is filled. So uh, it's very important to uh, use the barcode field, but in case your barcode was different than your ETA code, you can use this field that's in the accounting tab. Now, when it comes to the assigning, we will go to accounting and then we will go to configurations. We will scroll down to find thumb drive and we will select it. For this line, you have to make sure that you create a new uh, line that lets you specify it to your company. So I selected the company that I want to create a thumb drive to. So basically I want to link my signature with Udo. And here you will find the ETA USB pin. This is the pin number that was given to you from the USB provider. For the last number, which is the uh, access token, this is uh, the number that was um, given to you by Udo when the installation happened. So after you input these fields, you save, and then you will find a button that lets you get the certificate. You will just click on it and Udo will do the rest. 
Now let's go ahead and try creating an invoice on Udo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new invoice. And here I can set the customer first, and then I will be adding a product. Then I will confirm the invoice. Once I confirm the invoice, you will see that I have an option to sign the invoice. So I will choose that option. And then I will process now. Once I click on process now, the invoice will be sent to the ETA. So this is how I send an invoice successfully to the ETA. Since I do not have any errors or problems in this part of the, um, the invoice form, then it means that invoice uh, was marked as valid by the ETA. You can see here that in the ETA e-invoice uh, tab, you get an option to get the ETA invoice PDF. So this option lets you call back for, um, for the invoice PDF that is coming from the ETA. So this will be in the format of the ETA. You will find it here in the chapter, so you can download it and send it to your clients. Now, the second example I want to show you is to create an invoice to the same customer with the same product. But here I will be uh, confirming it and then I will be signing it. Once it's signed and sent, I will, request, I will request for cancellation. So once I do that, I will get the process now button. So once I request for cancellation, then it means that the cancellation request has been reached to the ETA and the invoice has been canceled on both Udo and the ETA portal. So now a third example that I want to show you is the credit notes. So I'm gonna be creating a credit note from here. I will set a customer and then I will add a product. So let's say that this customer wants to return uh, one product from what I sold him and I will be confirming it. The flow is pretty much the same. So I just sign the invoice now and then I process it. Now that it's uh, signed and sent, it means that there, there was no issues or problems coming back with it since this section does not have any uh, errors. Now, the fourth example I would like to show you is the point of sale. The point of sale is very important in the sense that any point of sale order that I want to be invoiced should be invoiced from uh, the point of sale session before I uh, close the session. So let's say that I'm selling two products or two quantities to this um, customer. And then I choose the payment method and then I want it to be invoiced. So since I want it to be invoiced, then it means I can send it to the ETA portal. So now let me continue. And then I will be closing the session. Once I close the session, if I go back to invoices and check this invoice right here. So this is the one that was coming from the point of sale. I can just sign it. And then I can process it. So it will be sent to the ETA. And that's it for e-invoicing Egypt. Please do not hesitate to contact our support team for any questions or comments you might have. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more features.